Okay, here's the tool pathing portion. Again, you gotta make sure you're, under tool path you do your machine type first, yes. techno servo, and your stock set up correctly in the lower left corner. Now I'm gonna do a tool path, a contour tool path. It is important that I name these. I'm gonna call this number one because then I have a lot of tool paths. I'm gonna chain it. I wanna go counterclockwise. So I'm gonna click right there. Whoops, that's not the right one. I'm going to hit escape, right? That's the outside of my spoon. Toolpath, contour, number one. I'm going to chain it. I'm going to go counterclockwise. And I see that that whole line goes yellow. It goes all the way around and closes. I'm going to cut this out. You cut it out with either a ball end or a flat end mill. I think I'm going to do mine with the flat end. Tool is a quarter inch straight bit. I'm going to select it at 60, 30. Uh, blue check mark to hold those settings. Hold or cut frame. Depth of cuts. The first couple, I don't need to do this, but later on I will. I'm going to turn lead on, lead off. And then how, how far, how deep was our first pass? An eight. So negative 0.125. Here's my first tool path. I'm getting all mixed up with all this visible here. If I go over here, this turns off the tool path so I don't have to see it. I'm going to do another one, tool path, contour with the chain, not my first line, my second line. It closed. It's all the same except what's the only difference on this tool path? Any, what's the difference? Yep, exactly. Depth of cuts, I'm still not going to do it because I'm only going a quarter deep. But the difference here is I'm now two-eighths of the way, which is a quarter inch of negative 0.25. Okay, so that's that one. Again, I'm going to hit that so I don't see it. I'm going to do my next tool path as a contour, as a chain. It's not one, two, three. This one I want to show you because I'm going to do it a little differently because now I set my depth of cuts. Okay, tool, holder, cut parameters, all that's all the same. Now my depth of cut is going to be at point 0.2 on a pass. And then everything else stays the same. Linking parameters, the difference here is negative 0.375. It's just going to do it in two passes. There's a ton of information here. Everybody good on those three? Yeah. Okay, one more. Tool path. This last one is a pocket. I'm going to select it with the chain. And again, it closed in. This pocket is going to remove all the last materials there. So in that pocket, I'm still going to use a quarter and straight bit. Because it's a new tool path, I have to reset these numbers at 60 and 30. Hold those settings, cut parameters, It's a, that's good, that's good, lead and lead out. Depth of cut I'm going to set at point two. Let me save that setting and then under linking parameters, this is negative a half, right? 0 0.125, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.375. 0.5. Okay, so I have all four of these tool paths. I'll talk about cutting the spoon out later. Let me select all of them and verify it in an isometric view. Fit screen. Let me turn it down a little bit. There's my animation. Let me turn it up a little bit. So that's one. To you. See how it's going a little deeper? A little bit of wood left over, that's all right. We'll clean that up with the chisel. This is my third one, but it does multiple passes. So that's my third contour, and then here's my pocket. First pass, second pass, third. Yeah, third, three, right? It was depth of cut was 0.2 and the overall depth is negative.